Hi. We're continued, continuing to talk about composers and their music from the book A Gift of Music. Today we're doing Frederick Delius. He lived from 1862 to 1934. This is how his music was described. A blind cellist once said, only the music of Delius can convey to me some idea of what it must be like to see a glowing sunset. As one of his friends said, Delius was on the whole a watercolorist of music, not a filler of canvases with oil. Delius was one of 12 children, and it's noteworthy that his parents were not happy with his choice to, to, to dedicate his life to music. His father was wealthy and a successful German manufacturer. And his mother also gave him no encouragement. They appreciated music, but they were indignant to think that their son would devote his life to what he regarded as uh, the father as a pleasant pastime with little possibility of earning money. So neither of them gave him any encouragement. And even after their son had become a famous composer, his parents never forgave him for choosing to be a musician, and they refused ever to hear one note of his music. Wow. I couldn't believe that. Uh, anyways, uh, Delius grew up with a, with a strong rejection of Christianity. And they give you some uh, idea of, of the influences in his belief system. During one of his stays in Norway, he was aimlessly looking over the books in the library of a friend when he came across a copy of Nietzsche's Thus Spake Zarathustra. Thank you, Max. <laughs> Even as a boy, Delius was a har at heart a pagan, and finding this book was one of the most important events of his life. Eric Fenby says, he did not rest content until he had read every work of Nietzsche that he could lay his hands on, and the poison entered his soul. I just wanted to go a little further in because they, they tell you a little more about this connection with Nietzsche. Delius wholeheartedly adopted Nietzsche's philosophy as his gospel. And the piece of music called A Mass of Life that he composed not only gives insight into Nietzsche's thinking, but also Delius's. It is loud, unattractive music. Delius often does not write well for the voice. But as in much of Delius, there are moments of beauty. Some consider it the climax of his achievement, although it is left less often performed than his smaller orchestral pieces. A Mass of Life is an attack upon Christian doctrine and Christian way of life, as Nietzsche and Delius saw it. They both wanted to correct what they called the slave morality of Christianity. Their great emphasis was upon will, not b bowing to anyone, and living and dying fearlessly, though death be total extinction. So this was his, his belief system through his life. So now just going back to more descriptions of his, his actual work. Uh, he didn't like excess in, in music. Uh, in describing one of his com compositions in a summer garden, it says that it captivates the beauty and tranquility of a sun-drenched riverside garden. Delius did, did marry. He married a woman named Jelka, and it's it's been said that we might never have heard of him if it hadn't been for his wife. 
because he was not a man who knew how to organize his life. Jelka did it for him because she believed in his genius and she loved him. It was never easy to be in the company of Delius because of his aloofness, his, his uh, indifference to whether he hurt the feelings of people or not, his colossal egotism, his contempt for ordinary people, his unbearable selfishness, and his inability to be interested in anything other than his music. He did enjoy a good table, and there was always a well-stocked wine cellar in the Delius home. Delius the man, like Wagner, is difficult to like, but not his music. Those who respond to the magic of his sound find it some of the most beautiful ever written. He was a composer of instinct rather than intellect. He, his was a still small voice, but an absolutely unique one. The music of Delius is suffused with rapture. It is fluid, like light and water. He was a sensitive nature poet, and his music has the emotional quality we associate with British poetry. Delius was a watercolorist, using notes instead of paint. Because he was an ardent lover of that which is beautiful in nature, we not only hear, hear his music, but it is as if we were seeing impressionist paintings of hills, trees, birds, sunrises, and sunsets. In speaking about composition, Delius said, you can't teach a young musician to compose any more than you can teach a delicate plant how to grow. But you can guide him a little by putting a stick in there. How can music ever be mere intellectual speculation or a series of curious combinations of sound that can be classified like the articles in a grocer's shop? Music is an outburst of the soul. I find his, his music so beautiful and I do think it, it, it makes you immediately see pictures in your head of the things that he's describing with music. Uh, so I just find it extremely beautiful, his music. Both Delius and, and, and Debussy, I find this true about their music. And it always fills me with appreciation for nature and for what God has created and what it is, what he has given us. I can remember us as a family driving through the countryside while Max was growing up. And it was always something that made me want to praise and, and worship God. Seeing sky, seeing uh, clouds, lots of landscape and horizon always inspired me to be filled with the desire to to praise God and their music does the same for me even if they didn't intend that that's what it does for me uh, I we will link to this video a piece of of his music so you can hear how beautiful it is and also I thought I would uh, link uh, a series that we did as a, f a family go through as part of Max's homeschooling and it is Howard Goodall S the story of music it's a series of videos where he traces the history of music and he is a, a, a British composer and it's uh, very interesting and and enjoyable and, and he's got a, a nice sense of humor as well so I think it's uh, quite watchable as a family and you're learning at the same time and learning to appreciate great music.